I'm going live. I am live. It's Tuesday night. I am live. Why am I off center here? Well, I'm always off center. It's nothing new. I'll just put this here. How are you doing? Can you guys hear me okay? Luke gave me this mic. I don't know if I'm speaking through the mic. Can you hear me? Anybody out there? Can you hear me okay? Hey, we got Pam and Effie and Lizzie and Patty. Very cool. So, hi guys. Welcome. It's me, Indiana Jones. Welcome to my channel. You guys can hear me okay? I don't know if I'm going through this mic. I don't know. He wants me to try out different mics now. So, anyway, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I go live three nights a week, and I just come up with something at the last minute because I don't know what else to do. So, <laughs> you hear me? Awesome. Great. Okay, cool. They need to be about the size of the end of a finger. Oh, you're making a mini tier tray? Who's doing a mini tier tray challenge? That's cool. I like that. Very cool. Welcome. So tonight, there, this week has been cuckoo crazy. Cuckoo crazy. Cuckoo for fucking Cocoa Puffs. There's so many challenges this week that I've signed up for. Not your fault. Not anybody's fault. My own fault. I just finished. I mean, we just had... Corey's did it. No, not Corey. Sammy. Sammy had her challenge today. And it was like, you know, uh, try it Tuesday where you try somebody else's um, craft. You kind of remake somebody else's craft. Oh, excuse me. I'm tired. I'm sorry. And I don't want to have coffee right now. So you can imagine. I'm wearing my St. Patrick's Day scarf because I got it at the Dollar Tree. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I will show it to you. My hair is totally like a mess, but I love this scarf. I found it at the Dollar Tree. It actually comes two to a pack. They have one that's like a uh, gingham, a green, black gingham, and then they have this, but I love this because it's got Celtic knots. It's got Celtic knots, guys. I think it's so cute. Hey, Melissa makes it DIY, so so yeah, that's why I'm wearing my, my kerchief. I thought I'd wear a St. Patrick's Day kerchief. I love wearing kerchiefs, believe it or not. Hey, Liz, how are you doing? Hey, Melissa, how's everybody doing? Saw a lot of people on Sammy's channel, Sammy's playlist. It was very good. Saw a lot of people getting, like, Melissa. She uh, inspired one of the crafters. I can't remember who it was now, but I thought it was really cool. Because I was like, hey, I remember when Melissa made that. So it's very cool. So what am I going to make today? So tomorrow I am in a challenge with Antonella. Antonella, no. Antoinette. <laughs> from Ant's Place, which is now called Decorating Ant's Place. Hey, Connie, how are you doing? Sandy, how are you doing? So I had some Mackenzie Childs, get some Mackenzie Childs challenge, of course. What else is it going to be? And I had some leftovers. So here are my leftovers. I, I just had some cutouts. And I said, you know, I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day three-leaf clover with leftovers. So I thought it would be cute because I have these leftovers from, say, Valentine's Day. Never, never did a real Valentine's Day thing of a bobber, whatever. Yes, Jenner's blessing. Yeah, somebody else, um, somebody else did one of mine. I think can't remember who now. <gasps> somebody did one of mine. I can't remember. I can't remember. So, are you guys all ready for Heidi's challenge on a Friday? All getting her. I started editing it today. I'm proud of myself. Hello, Mamselle Le Cat, Le Chat. So, no, I'm not done. I'm not done with Heidi's. I'm, I, I did the filming. Now I started doing the editing. Ooh, did she show away yet? Why don't I ever have paper towels where I need them? No worries. No worries. Is it, How's everybody's weather? How are you all doing with the weather? Are you staying safe? You Texans out there? You Canadians out there? A lot of snow. A lot of snow. I mean, not for nothing, but I'm kind of glad I'm in Miami with all the snow going on. I don't know if I can handle it. There we go. One, one heart. Oh, where's my little squeegee? 
Where's my squeegee? I can't find my squeegee. Sounds like a personal problem. Can't find your squeegee. It was 73. Oh, that's nice. Great here in Texas. Good. Oh my gosh, a heat wave. Miss Kitty, Membla Chat. I filmed one of the projects for hers and I'm doing two others tomorrow. Okay, good. I need to do my Christmas challenge one. I haven't done that one yet. What can I say? What can I say? It's my own challenge. I haven't done it yet. I don't know what to do. Love is the, okay. So let me explain. So this is for Christmas. Uh, my co-host is Crafty Quinn. The concept is basically love. Do anything you love. Anything you love. If it's something with your family, if it's something regarding family, if it's something with crafting that you love to do, you say, you say, hey, I like to burn things up, Sandy. <laughs> or I like to do whatever. If it's like you want to do a short and you just want anything that you love, guys, just put it on the playlist. Don't you don't have to create anything new. I know it's like last minute. Everybody's running around trying to do, you know, Heidi's. I don't want to compete with that. But if you have like a segment of one of your videos of something that you made and you really, really love, share that. If you have something that shares your love for, you know, good baby Jesus, share that, you know? Yeah, I love to get lit. So do that. Just, you don't necessarily have to be, it doesn't necessarily have to be a new video. It could be an older video. It could be one of your Christmas videos that you loved and you want to share again. Why not? I don't care. As long as you just include me and Crafty Quinn in your description, I'm good with it, people. Truly, I'm good with it. You know, I'm easy. Because I'm easy. Ah, easy like Sunday morning. Yes, yeah, so you can you can you can do a short and and mention me in the shout out. Yeah, do a shout out. That's all we want. We just want you to like. Be creative and crafty and then shout us out and say, hey, hey, because I'm trying to help Crafty Quinn get to a thousand. So if, it, if anybody out there, you can hear me OK. So if anybody out there needs to, um, you know, reach a goal or something like let us know. Let us know right now if you are trying to reach whatever is your goal for the end of February, let, let's say you're at 500 or like, let's say you're close to 500. You want to hit 500. Say guys I'm trying to get close to 500 or I need more watch hours. Hey, Mary. Yes. Let's get her to a thousand. Um, so if anybody out there is like working on a milestone, let us know. You're trying hard to get to 2k. I know it's hard. You need more watch hours. Okay. Connie, Share your link. Share your link. You have a blue wrench. Share your link. So I'm easy. Oh, oh wait. I see a picture on the floor. Easy like the morning. Yes, I am. So I was watching. I just talked. I'm just going to ramble. Just going to ramble while I drive my heart. Watch hours. Yes. Okay, Melissa, share your link. Everybody share your link. Everybody, this is your homework now. Everybody, watch somebody's channel. Just pick a channel, put on play, and you don't have to comment. Don't worry. If you comment, fantastic. If you can't, if you put it on your TV while you're brushing your teeth tonight, put on somebody's playlist. Everybody put on somebody's playlist. Yes, Effie also needs help. Cause I'm easy. I'm drying this off because my my brush was really wet. I can hear my cat. Can you hear my cat snoring? Yes, just pink. pink. Hey, Leah, pick somebody for the day and just watch them. I think today I watched Teresa. Was it Teresa? Teresa B D I Y. I watched her. Gosh, I, I feel so bad. Somebody used one of my crafts or they did a shout out to me or something. Somebody did a shout out to me. 
Is that, I think Teresa did a shout out to me on her video. I thought it was so cool. Yes. Leah. Oh, I'm sleepy today. Yes, make sure your volume is on, even if it's just a little bit. Just, you know, just share, whatever. All right, now I'm going to take a poops. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing because I have this, because I have this big mic in the middle. There you go. Move your mic. Yes, and I'm using Domino's as, as you know, whatever. I did one of Teresa. Yes, I did Teresa too. Oh, it sounds awful. I mean, I didn't do Teresa, but, you know, I watched her. So, <laughs> I knows. I knows. All right, so we're going to glue this, but I got to figure out how to glue this like that. See, I'm making... Why is this not gluing? Why is this not gluing? Why is the paper not staying? Is it because the paper was wet? M the shut. Like that? Look at that. Because I'm easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Why am I singing that song? So anyway, Luke and I were watching a list of the worst songs ever. And they had a list. There's a list on Wikipedia. And they have songs like Obla Di Obla Da by the Beatles. What? How is that a bad song? I'll sing, I'll sing just a few. Obla Di Obla Da, like goes that one. Who on earth would think? That's like one of my favorite Beatles songs. Who would think that's a bad song? Right? What was another one? They had that one and then they had Susu Studio from Phil Collins. How is that a bad song? I don't I I need to comprehend what constitutes a bad song, people. I just I don't I don't understand. Me no comprendo. Su, su, studio. Come on, that was a great song from the 80s. I know, playlist, right? It's these like, hey Becky, how are you doing? Oh, Becky and I are going live. Becky and I are finally going live. We are going live March 5th. Correct? Right? Correct me if I'm wrong, Becky. I told you the date. And I'm also going to be going live with, hold on, where's my, where's my calendar? So I got some special guests coming on live and I just burnt myself. Hold on. I feel like I'm opening the Bible. So I have Becky on the 5th, Danielita AF on the 12th. God willing, everything's okay. And on the 19th, I have Dave's Wreaths and Thanks. So there's my lineup. Look at that. And this weekend, I have Crafty Quinn. On Friday, I have Crafty Quinn. So I have my four already lined up. So if anybody's willing, I have March 26th is open. March 26th. And on Wednesday, I might not go, li I might not go live on Tuesday the 30th because on Wednesday the 31st, I'm going to see if we can get back Miss Learn the Conjurer to talk more spooky stuff with you guys. Because you guys seem to like the spooky stuff that night. It was a lot of fun. I'll do it with you. All right, Melissa, let's do it. You're looking for a co-host? Cool. Look at me with my count. Do you see that? Do you see that? And I got to start, like, putting my list together for, for the playlist that I'm going to play. Oh, look at that. How cute. All right, let's make it pretty. Let's make it pretty. Uh Got my little rolling thing here. By the way, guys, I still have not made share your stash video. Have not made it. Not proud of that, but just letting you know. Yay! I know learn was fun. So we got to think what can we do in March? What what is like, you know, we did fairy tales. I don't know if we got through all the fairy tales. So one of the things that I saw in the Mackenzie Childs, where's my Mackenzie Childs catalog? I got the Mackenzie Childs catalog, and I've just been, like, 
eating it, eating it. I love it for spring. And it's all about like, you know, real bright colored flowers and stuff, you know, combined with, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to combine some bright flowers. Pick one fairy tale. Okay. Or kiss or so you can think, you think, I thought we already, wait a minute, Melissa, didn't we already say that I'm co-hosting something with you? I can't remember now. All right, we'll pick another. We'll I don't know. We'll do fairy tales, or we'll do um, or we'll do um, legends, spooky legends, spooky spooky. We get spookies, the spooky girls. So yeah, we'll do spooky stuff. I like spooky stuff. I do. I hate to say that, but I really do. I don't know why. I always like the spooky stuff. What's up, playlist, buddy? Dave's wreaths. Yes, I love Dave's wreaths. And I'm looking forward to Danielita as well. That'll be fun. Oh, I need to put a purple one. It's where you run each other's playlist. Oh, that's a nice idea. So talk, so now how about you? So you think, I love how you guys are booking each other through my channel. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> you guys can Instagram each other, but you're all like talking. I love it. I love it. I love it. I Again, I'm very proud of my new Plaid Ambassadors. I honestly feel like I have inspired you to become Plaid Ambassadors, so I'm happy about that. Oh, it's so cute. Do you guys, where is my stuff that I made? My Mackenzie Child. So tomorrow we have Mackenzie Child's Challenge, so you'll see all the fun stuff I made for Mackenzie Child's. I need to, like, cover this with something. Something, something. Got to cover that. Got to cover that. I'll just use this. Oh, it's nothing. This is like, I just, I was going to do something else, but I was like, no, it's too complicated. I'm brain fried. I am brain fried in the middle of the week. I'm brain fried at the end of the week too, but you guys are too kind. But yeah, I just thought, I, I mean, they don't have this. I didn't see Mackenzie Childs have this. By the way, I've been watching like Mackenzie Childs videos on how they do the, um, can you imagine working for the same place and painting courtly check all your life? That would drive me insane. Like all you see are squares all day. That's like, wow. But there are people out there in Mackenzie Child's land. That's all they do. That's literally all they do. Oh, I need this blue one. I need a bright blue one. And I need to know the details on when I am co-hosting uh, the year in Christmas. Oh, okay. You want me to open up my calendar? I shall. Hold on. One moment, please. Hold on. I have to create a new thumbnail for you guys. By the way, I am loving Canva. Thank you, all you guys, for saying use Canva, use Canva. I love using Canva. So, uh, Melissa, I have Melissa for March. I have Connie, Teresa, and Cindy for April. I have May, I have Susan and Angie, Tutu, Tutu's Cross. In June, I have Cindy again and Aunt. I think it's Mackenzie Child. And July is going to be a free-for-all because it's Christmas in July. I don't have anybody for August. March. You mean March what? March 25th. It's Christmas out all year long. <laughs> I love Canva. Love your clover. Yes. Hey, Christy Creates. How are you doing? 
So let me see. So Melissa in March, ours is joy. Our theme is joy. The April theme is family, family. The May theme, what is the May theme? So I'm just going to go as far back as May. It's always Christmas. Exactly. We're celebrating Christmas all year long. It's always on, on the 25th. Because I did this, honestly, I did Christmas all year long during my lives, during the pandemic, like our initial shutdown and stuff. And I did Halloween. So I'm going to continue doing. But Halloween, I did the 30th and the 31st. Now I'm just going to do it on the, th the month that have the 31st. You're getting your wood on in September? Okay. If you say so, Sandy. Look at this mess. Now I have a babush gone. There. Okay. So May, I think it's sugar, sugar plum. And I think April, no, April? What was April? And I think June is whimsy or something. Whimsy. Yes, it is. Whimsy is June. I like came up with the stuff on the fly. So there you go. I'm pinning for you. I'm pining for you with Jamie. Yes. I know. So there you go, people. Mackenzie Childs, 4th of July, 4th of July. I don't even know what day it is anymore. St. Patrick's Day. And there you go, right next to my Mackenzie. My Mackenzie Childs mirror. There you go. So pretty. How are you doing, Christy? You were awesome. That was the best. Well, all of my live shows with friends are the best, but I mean, we were on for like two hours. Although with Sandy, Sandy is the marathon one. We had like a four hour live. Oh, please. It's just paper and flowers, people. Paper and flowers. That's all. But, you know, eh, something different for St. Patrick's Day. You guys, somebody said, oh, I want St. Patrick's Day. Oh, look, I found booties and carrots. Oh, look, that's good to know. I have these things. Boonies and carrots. Boonies. I got more boonies. Oh, look. You know, you know what you could do with these hearts? It's like, I'm trying to come up with ideas. You know what you could do with these hearts, people? You can make them look like bunny butts. I'm serious, man. Make them look like bunny butts. And then you put the ears back here. You know, and you put the little, like that, and you put the little fluffy, look, and you put the little fluffy bunny butt right there. Bunny butts! No, bunny butts! I like bunny butts. It was fun watching, right? It was very special, Christy. Very, very special. I like that. I like bunny butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> what else can you do with hearts? It's like I have these hearts that I didn't use. I didn't do enough St. Patrick's Day stuff. Hey, Linda, can't find, I know I can't find any bunnies at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to have to make my own bunnies. What else can I make this into? Well, we made St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. What else can we make this into? Make flowers. Oh, yeah, I can make flowers. <gasps> yes, that's a great idea. Who said that? Hi, Melissa. Thank you. Dollar Tree and say, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, look, yeah, you can make little flowers. That's a great idea. Oh, my God. It's so cute. You just do this and like that and like that. Make a flower. There. I don't know. <laughs> Gnome feet, a wreath. What else can you make with your leftover hearts? A fascinator. There you go. You know I put it. You know, you know I'd have to put something on my head. I didn't make a Valentine's Day thing for my head. I wrecked up today. Kirkland's. Mine was going out of business. No. Yes. Do a haul for what you got. Do it live, Christy. That is awesome. You are awesome. That is one big bunny butt. Yes, it is. I don't know what to make anymore, people. But look, I have all these bunny heads. Who gave somebody? My friend gave me this box of flowers, and I did not realize that there's bunny heads in it. Look at this! Oh, look, there's an actual like bunny. Oh my gosh! 
See, Lord Baby Jesus watching over me. He goes, Annie, you got to open that box so you can find these bunnies. Because I don't have a lot of bunny stuff. Look, another little carrot. Oh, my gosh. And it's like these little pom-poms. Oh, my gosh. Yes, do a haul video. Do a haul video. I would love to see what you got. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. Now I gotta put them somewhere where I'm not gonna lose them, but I'm still gonna find them. Oh, these are a lot of bunny things. Look at that. Very cute. What can I do? Bunny love. I'm trying to see what I can do with this. It's a fat bunny. It's been way too much on Hobby Lobby. I know. Oh, no. Hello. I had my hand operated on today. Oh, no. That's right. Oh, Jackie, that's so sweet. Hey, Tiffany. How you doing? Who needs D3 Bunny? You have these cute ones, right? Christy, they're going out of business. Is it all of them? Yeah, is it all of them? Praying that your hand gets better. That's right. Poor Jackie. Need it on book. I like this one, but it makes me wonder, you know what? Oh my gosh, these are, these are decapitated bunny heads. They were full bodies and they decapitate. Look, these are decapitated bunny heads. What am I going to do with all these bunny heads? What do you do with bunny heads? I'm not very good with like crafting with little like kid things. It was just mine. She said they got bought out. Oh. They were even selling the racks. Put a bunny in the heart. Like that. Or two bunnies. I can make a girl bunny and a boy bunny like that. Oh, look, that's cute. And I gotta paint this. I gotta paint this. It's like crafting on the fly. Crafting on the fly. There we go. This is called, you guys suggest it, and I do it. I just do it. Look. I am just following your lead, my peoples. I trust my creative arts to you people. All right, look at this. Look at this. All right. Just come and stick that mic over there. Mike, Mike is in the way. Mike is in the way. Mod Podge over there. This is what we use the Domino's flyers for. Go, Annie, go. Yes, there you go. Glue one of the heads on a pom pom for the body. I don't have, I have just the little pom poms. I just have these little ones. I have these little ones. But I'll put one here, one there, and then I'll, I'll put a little flower on one of them so it looks like a girl. Although it doesn't have to be. Love is love. I get it, people. But for my, for, oh, look, I found a tiny little, tiny little flower. Perfect. Perfect. Muskrat love. I was trying to explain to Luke muskrat love. Try to explain that to a 17-year-old. He's like, is there really a song called Muskrat Love? I said, yes. And it was very popular in the 70s. He goes, it wasn't a joke. And I said, no, it wasn't. It was by one of the most popular bands. of the, That was, we were looking at the list of the worst songs. It was a very popular band in the 70s. Captain and Tennille. Muskrat Love. 19 in the room. I love this color. By the way, this color is Calypso Bay. Because you guys know how much I love this color. Then I paint my walls this color. My tables this color. That's right. It's a Floridian color. Just got to go with it. All right. Muskrat, muskrat. Does this have a sticker thing on the back? It does. It does have a sticker thing. You put one bunny there. 
And I put one bunny there. You know what a bunny, what a boy bunny gives a girl bunny? His carrot. <laughs> hey, Juju B. How you doing, Sarah? I like calling you Juju B. One day you will explain to us why you're called Juju B. Okay, they're off center. So you know, you saw how easily I peeled that off. Obviously, it doesn't glue that well. So. All right. This is really cute because I can put a stick on it, a stick, and stick this in like um like a flower decor thing. And then put a little flower right there. Put a little girl bunny. Again. Does it have to be? Hi Sarah! I have that glue gun and I love it. I love my Sherbunder. Sherbunders are the best. There we go. Hey, look at that. It's cute. I hate that you have to hold something up so you can see it. There you go. That is cute. Let's put some flowers down here. Crafting on the fly. Crafting on the fly. That's why I hoard. I hoard so I can craft. I think I got purple bunnies. This bunny, look at this bunny's whacked out eyes. <laughs> That's a bunny I can relate to. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Your girl's a nutcase. Here I, got, I got this little flower. It's white. I don't want white. Huh? Green. I'm looking over for the clover that I overlooked before. Do, 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 do. Looks like me when I wake up in the morning, right? He's had too many jelly beans. What's So what's the deal with you guys and peeps? You guys like peeps? You don't like peeps? Do you stick your peeps in liquor? I should have put a flower up here. Why did I put it down there? I don't know. I'm not listening to myself. I'm just doing. Here, I'll put another little flower there. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? How is Kate doing today? Don't like peeps. I don't like peeps either. I like jelly beans. And what about the caramel cream eggs? What about the cream eggs? What's, what's our decision on the cream eggs? I really love this color. Look at that. I just love this color. There you go. There you go. Oh, this is so cute. Now I need ribbon. I'm going to Oh, look. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> that is cute. I can make a little tassel. Little ribbon. I don't know. Cream eggs are delish. Really? Love peeps. Those cream eggs are disgusting. Look at this. Caramel Cadbury eggs. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Sorry. <laughs> You've never seen me this tired. Have you ever seen me this tired? I can't type tonight. I can't talk tonight. I have an Irish babush gone. So there you go. Made you what to what to make. With leftover hearts, you make little bunny things, and you made this. So there you go. You don't have to save it until next year. Because if you use it now, you won't hoard it and keep it in your space, and that takes up space. But who knows? Maybe you will. And we got the crazy. I swear, this crazy bunny. I love it. Love peeps. I don't know why, but I eat the ears first. I hate Cadbury eggs. I know you always have to eat the ears first. Ears? You got to eat the ears first. I'll never forget one time I was a little girl, I was seven years old, and my uncle had just come from Cuba. He finally was able to get out of Cuba, and he was like my mother's cousin or something, and he was finally able to get out of Cuba. He was with us, and it was his first Easter. That man was so happy to be here in the United States. He had never seen about, you know, they don't, 
They celebrate Eastern Cuba, but obviously they don't have chocolates galore and this and that and the other. So this man was so incredibly proud of being here for our first Easter. What, is, what do you think he did? He got me and Manny these humongous, like it was this big, these humongous Easter bunnies. But we had to go to church first. So he said, well, I'll meet you at church. And I'll bring the bunnies with me. Great. So we all met at church and then we came home. And then he opened the back of his car and he unwrapped. He didn't realize that you didn't have to wrap the bunnies. He wrapped the bunnies like they were Christmas gifts, but that whatever, it's okay. So he wrapped these big boxes of chocolate bunnies that he had left in his car on a hot New York afternoon, spring afternoon for an hour. When we opened the box, they looked like Turds, ginormous, delicious smelling turds with blue eyeballs and little pink bunny bows. But they were like this giant. They had melted in his car and they had turned into like melted turds. And all it had looked like the two little, the only thing that gave them off as bunnies were the two little eyeballs, you know, those candy eyeballs. <laughs> You know, those little bows, they used to put the little bows around them or whatever. Oh, my gosh. I felt so bad for them. We didn't care. Manny and I are like, we don't care. We're like, ah, licking, ah, licking the chocolate bunnies because we're like, that was the most um, enormous chocolate bunnies we'd ever received. And we were not. And the poor man, I think, you know, that was like his salary, you know, his first salary here in the United States. He was just so proud to be in the United States for the first time and being able to celebrate Easter with us. So. I don't know why we always get assorted colors. They all taste the same, right? Yeah, but it was it was bad. So we had chocolate turds for Easter one year. You know what? Maybe for this Easter, I'll do the same thing for my brother. Just, you know, for nostalgia, you know, nostalgia. That would be hilarious. I'm going to give him an Easter. I'm going to buy him a giant Easter bunny, let it melt in the car, and then freeze it, melt it already. He'll eat it. It's chocolate. He'll eat it. So I'm going to do that to my, uncle, my brother, Manny. Maybe to Luke. I don't know. Maybe not to Luke. Poor Luke. So anyway, guys, I don't want to take up any more of your time. It's a Tuesday. It's during the week. So I hope that your my bunny reference there was fun. I am thinking of making something called Disaster Peace Theater. What do you think? I'm going to share something in March. My first one will be March 1st, and it will be my favorite St. Patrick's Day episode. So... I can eat peeps till I'm sick. Then when I feel better, I will do it again. I know. That's what I do with candy corn, man. It's like candy corn, candy corn. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that to Manny. I'm going to melt an Easter bunny and give it to him. And since Easter's on a Sunday, you guys will see his reaction live, maybe. There you have it. There you have it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging with me. I like. I really like this. But like I, I, I gotta make you know this would be cute for like a whole a little thing of beads that would be really cute, a little bead thing. I love candy corns. I do too. Had fun tonight. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Nighty night, guys. So as I always say when I say good night to you guys, stay safe, be kind. God bless each and every one of you. And remember to live the adventure. Do the best you can for your friends here. Check each other out if you're new here and you have a channel, please. Share it in, in the comments below if you weren't here live. But if you come back, please check out all the people that made comments during this live. They are wonderful friends. I love to support my friends. Helping them grow helps me grow because the most important thing I'm going to learn out of any craft that I ever make here on this earth is that I've made someone else's life just a thing. Better, even if it was just for like 10 minutes that you watched me and you laughed or you thought she's insane, whatever. As long as I can do that, I have I am an accomplished person. So there you go, guys. All right, good night, guys. See you on Friday night.